Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video it's going to be another optimization tip. This time around what we're going to be doing is enabling and disabling lights based upon the distance from the player. So as you can see now we have these four spotlights in our level that are all lit and as I get further away they're going to slowly fade out until they're completely off. Now you're not going to notice much of a difference in this map performance wise, however this will obviously help a lot as if they're not on, they're not being rendered, there's not any shadows or anything along those lines, so it is going to be a lot more efficient for your game. So if your player is really far away from some lights, they're not going to make a difference to what the player can see at all, especially if they're going to be out of view distance, around a corner, or anything along those lines. This will be great as obviously the player can't see them, they don't need to be there. So it's kind of like distance culling with static meshes, except we're doing it with lights instead. So what I'm going to do is reset this and show you exactly how I've done it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select the lights that you want to have this apply to. So you do need to do this to the lights individually. However, I can select more than one and do it to them all at the same time, but that means you're obviously going to have the exact same settings on them. So you do this however you want. Once you've got the lights selected, what you want to do is scroll down until you find the section under performance and we want the max draw distance. If we to set this to five, you can see we can't see them, it's black as we're more than 5 units away. If we were to set it to 2000, we will now have them lit like so, and as we back away, they should then disappear like so. So you can see them all disappearing. Let's lower it down to 1500 because of the size of the level. So you can see they've now cut out like so, and as we get closer, they're going to suddenly appear or disappear as we get further away. Now that's obviously a very sharp cut as they are literally turning on and off. So what if you want them to fade on? Well, then you can use the max distance fade range. So if I set this to 500, you can see this is now going to fade across that distance instead of just suddenly turning on or off, it's going to fade on or off instead, which I think makes it look a whole lot nicer and a whole lot better and a whole lot smoother. And again, this is incredibly great for performance and for optimization. So a lot of people complain that Lumen isn't well optimized for them and their systems. So this is a great way of doing that. We can just disable the lights if we're too far away and they're not going to be important for the level. Now obviously this isn't a great level because it's all completely pitch black, but if I were to let's say just duplicate these to light up the entire level, we should see that they're then going to look a lot nicer. Let's just set these to be static instead of stationary, and then I'll move them over here as well. Just the whole level is lit up, and as we move about you can see it's going to be lighting up different areas like so. So it still looks perfect, but it's going to be running a lot nicer. So that's pitch black over there, because that's in the distance, we don't need to see it. As we get closer, it's going to light up, which kind of just looks like the player's eyes are adjusting to the light, but we know really it's for performance reasons. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we wanted to do today. It was a nice, quick and simple one of just another quick tip of how to optimize Lumen and optimize your lighting inside of Unreal Engine 5. So again, we can disable or enable the lights based upon our render distance from them. So if they're too far away, we're not going to see the lights. They're not going to be rendered in for us. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.